A psychic will read the field, the bio field of the person. Okay. So if I'm doing a reading for you and I'm picking up your information, what you're about, who you are, what you've done in the past, what's happened to you, what's going to happen, that's psychic reading. A medium is picking up the passed over spirit and getting information could be about you it could be a message for you but usually it's to do with you know uh, a passed over loved one or a colleague or a friend or what is come in and wants to let you know something or may may even tell you about your health or whatnot but generally see there it could be a blur of the line you see between the psychic and the medium I want people to be clear where their information is coming from and who's speaking. So the evidential mediumship is where you get, okay, what's the evidence? Spirits come in. Okay, who is it? Because if I gave you a reading and I said, there's a grandmother figure, she wants to tell you that she loves you. Now that's awesome. That's beautiful. But most people, you know, at a certain age will have a passed over grandmother that probably loved them. The statistics would be, right? <laughs> you with me? But if I said, so I had this the other day, um, we were training and I, I got them to bring in a photograph and they would read the photograph. Now you could do that psychically or medium, mediumistically, right? So I was doing the demo and it's like, uh, so I get the photo of the woman. She was an older woman. So, it, you know, chances are it's a mother or a grandmother. But you see, I don't work like that. I go, What's your name? I want your name. I want your, like, I want, I want evidence. That's that way of working. And you don't have to work like that once you leave, but I train you that way so that, you know, you have a good boundary, a good foundation. And there's other more fluid ways of working too. That's specifically evidential mediumship. Of course, it's, it gives you evidence. Okay, but also grows your confidence and your your sensory system in the more that you get those uh, what we call little hits of a name or what they look like or what they're uh, you know some evidence of a memory or something like that it builds the the uh, student medium <laughs> their confidence their connection to themselves their understanding that there's more to life than their physical body, that they are more than what they see in the mirror. So that's part of it. So knowing that, right? See, it's a knowing. It's not a belief. I can tell you that. I could do it for you. But you might be going, well, that could be right. You know, I do have a grandmother or an uncle or whatever. Yeah. So it's really about, it's about building and evolving the system, the human system of the student. So really it's about awakening and activating and opening those dormant uh, sensory systems but in the process you get skills so they can go and work as a psychic or they can go and work as a medium